let's move on to setting up and engraving the main field courses. Unplug the engraver from the power source. In the field brick area, where you wish to begin cutting, find the most outside course of bricks. Put the contour following wheel on that course. Insert the indexing pin, snug the star knob. Adjust the primary connecting bar stroke length by moving the stop collars inside the primary connecting bar. It may be necessary to tilt the engraver to see the collar screws. Use the short PVC plastic spacer to gauge the 4 inch stroke length. Securely tighten the collar screws. Collar slippage will result in overcuts. Visually check to see that the blade will cut exactly between the long bed cuts. In the front and rear there should be about a 1 8 inch gap between the blade and the far sides of the bed cuts. Initially it is better to have a gap too wide. A wide gap will produce an undercut, which is much better than an overcut. Later, after making some cuts, the stop collars can be dialed in exactly as needed. Check again to be sure this is where you want to begin cutting. Move the pointer reminder flag to the far right hand side pointer. This first pointer is used to cut field bricks to 12 inches long. In circular or arcuate brick patterns, the first pointer is used only on the first course of bricks that are inside the soldier course. This pointer is located on the right side, so cutting progresses from right to left. Make the first cut. There is nothing to aim at yet. Steady the engraver with your feet. Press down, push out, let up, pull back, move to the left. Now there is a groove to aim at. Aim, press down, push out, let up, pull back, move to the left, begin the cycle again. Remember, when aiming at a cut line, you should be centered over the engraver. If you alter the viewing angle, the length of the brick will change. As you may already know, if we continue cutting around the circle, the last brick will more than likely be an odd size. To be sure there are no obviously odd length bricks, we must again determine a delaying point. Make a minimum of five cuts. That's four bricks. When cutting field bricks, use the cord length of four bricks as a delaying point measurement. This simplifies the calculation of the remaining bricks. The number four is divisible to one by dividing it in half two times. Measure the cord length across the top arc of four bricks. Transfer the delaying point measurement to the right side as viewed from the operating position. Leave a reminder on the delaying point. To the left, Continue cutting around the first row. Delay engraving at the delaying point marker. Complete whichever cut will be closest to the delaying point. Measure and divide the remaining space in half. Divide those two halves in half. Move the pointer reminder flag to the center pointer. Finish the remainder of the cutting by pointing to the marks using the center pointer. 